Hi everyone and welcome back to your Angelic Karma. It is Tuesday, March 13th. We're going to get started with the overall energy here. The announcements first. The calendar's up for personal sessions. Those you interested in accountability coaching classes specifically. Send an email to your Angelic Karma at gmail.com so I can get you set up personally. Let's go ahead and get started here. Show me the overall energy for Tuesday. Okay, this one just wants to come out. We have this leg up energy here. This is very positive. You could be, I don't know what position you would be in. You would have been in both in, at some point in your life. But I don't know what this is about specifically, but there's a leg up energy here. Something is about to be presented to you if it already has it. You will obviously decide what you're going to do with it. Very blessed energy coming through for some of you is what I'm getting. We're leading up to this full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of Libra. Let's see. Show me. Very blessed energy is what I'm feeling. You have imagine, co-create. See, something is going to be presented to you. You have the energy of co-create here. Is and I don't feel that this is a leg up given to you. I feel that this is a leg up that you have. There's something that you're very um, uniquely allowed with, uniquely qualified for. It's going to be presented to you. This imagine is, is they want you to see yourself um, within that. See how this is you. See how it fits you. Like imagine that, like that, okay, is how it's being presented to you with co-create to get you to, um, to consider it. So this is something for you to consider. It, it, you have a leg up like that. You know, and, and it's clear what your leg up is. So if you do accept this, it's about, okay, having that leg up, how would things be, because this will lead to questions, how would things be orchestrated around that leg up that you have? Like that you're uniquely qualified for something, is got, that something is going to be presented to you, and, but you have a leg up within it like that, okay? It is that it is those types of things. So it would mean that whatever is presented to you, it will have to be situated differently. It would have to be, if you accept this, it would have to be situated differently. It would have to be um, created with that leg up that you have in mind like that. And, and it being front and center. Okay, you know, it that would have to be taken into account because the leg up is there that you have. Okay, that's what we have here. That's what you all have here. Very blessed you are. You have that. Here's that turtle again with Treasure Island. Fi Treasure Island finally making it. This could be something financially lucrative. Us, you. It's just us. You. This is just um, some type of some type of path that is open you had a yen or something that is going to be presented you have decided you want it you had a yen energy there are you going to be receptive to this this something comes natural okay now to be fair and that's why i stated that that part it is because you do have a leg up in it like you have a leg up and it's like obvious and it, it would be obvious if you, if you walk this path if you accept it i feel that it's something that you should do because it, it can be quite fun it's also going to be very financially lucrative with this turtle here Turtle slowly making it towards it um, is going towards co-create like that. Uh, so this could have monetary value around it for some of you. It would be about, and to be fair, it, it's like, and then it's like, imagine, imagine that. And it's how it's going to be presented to you. But 
whoever is telling you this, they know that you have the le a leg up and you know that you have a leg up also. So it's going to have to be um, a very unique something that may have never been um, experienced before for the one that's offered it to you. And like that because of the leg up that you have so they will have to be prepared for that so this imagine that now goes back to them if you accept it says yeah and say yes if you say yes now they have to imagine like okay now how you know because the, the leg up that you have is obviously there so is those types of things that i'm seeing here and it's like and, and you want to be fair because why well, well because you had a leg up okay And the uh, the obvious leg up is there. I mean, leg up in this position, in this situation, meaning there's something uniquely um, for you, but you, but you, and you have a leg up in it like that. Okay, there's something about you that is unique and that gives you a leg up like that, regarding what is presented to you like that. Is that so? That's gonna have to be taken in mind. So it'll be a very different undertaking for whoever is offering this to you. You have poise. You'll be open to this. There's the yang. You had a yin and a yang. Working together in unison. You have regeneration. One of your angelic karma's most favorite cards is you regeneration. I love regeneration. Because why? Because well, it's happening to you and for you. I like to look at this as physical regeneration. They have round and round. What's this piece about? Okay, you have peace there, which is, is good with this piece. We're going to put two more cards and then we're done with it. With peace. Let's see. That's your energy. Okay. So, with something else that could be happening, this round and round here, okay, you like, you're going to like this. It, we, we had round and round in the past, but it's like, not like it was cycles canceling out and, and cancels out, but you have with regeneration in this piece. So, so, you like this? This is separate from here with this leg up. Now, let's go back to this leg up and this being fair. Okay. Because... Yeah, this would be something that you're open to. This would be something you're in agreement with, poised to receive. It is crown and co-creating and regeneration as a topic. Um, is and then you have treasure eyes and look going towards co-create the money. Now it would be the benefit, and it, it could be something fun. Why would it be fun? Well, because it would be something natural and unique to who you are. But it, but your uniqueness gives you the leg up, okay? And it's like, but there's an element about it because you have that leg up. It's about the beard, the fair part. So as I stated, you're aware of that. Whoever's offering this, because you have co-create, they're aware of it. Because everybody else would be aware of it and be known also. <laughs> you know, it, it's those types of things. So... After you say yes... It would be on who would present it to you to now imagine and, and have that um, creative vision of what your leg up means in the grand scheme of things and how to orchestrate things around that leg up that is obviously there. That's what you have. So what is it about? Let's see. You have happy, happy. You're going to be happy with it. And you have by the book. We have by the book again. Everything is by the book. It's all by the book. There we go. We're done here. 
Now, it is all by the book. So, let's see. Show me. Because it's, why is it by the book? Well, it's by the book when it's divinely orchestrated. Divine orchestration means by the book. Like, there's, a, there's something being followed. Take in let everything life has to offer. The happy and the sad. You're in the happy here. Trust that you are always where you should be and you are given the lessons you need to move forward. Gratitude opens the door to all the good life has to offer. Be grateful often for what you have and you will receive more to be grateful for. A very blessed energy as I stated. We can work around that is what I'm hearing. Well, and that's what this here. You wouldn't mind it being worked around as long as the, the fairness is there. Because the obvious is, the obvious will be there the, of that leg up. So the, the, the working around that, because it's going to come up into question. It's going to come up like that. Okay. You know, it is, is that. For example, I'm going to give an example. If if you want a if if you're selling um math courses, but you want a mathematician to advertise the math courses, but the mathematician didn't take any math courses, they're a mathematician genius, it that's their leg up. They're a genius, but they're selling courses regarding a specific math program somebody can say and it would be obvious that the mathematician is a genius they didn't even, even even take math and then people are going to say well the mathematician is a genius why should we buy this course okay they didn't take like that okay the, uh, that type of leg up okay is that that was just an example and so in the mathematician is going to take the opportunity now the whoever offered the opportunity will have to imagine with the grand scheme of things that being fair, hey, this is a mathematician, it's obvious to everybody this is a mathematician, this person just a you need a damn genius with math. We don't know how where they learn math from. Okay. But they're selling you, you these courses. Okay. You know, it's like that. Um, so it that's to be fair. But whoever the mathematician or whoever this is, yeah, they're gonna take the agreement. But that to be fair, there is whoever's offered it. They now they need to imagine how to present it with the math, the truth of what the mathematician. But it'll be obvious because uh, the mathematician would say it himself. You know, I'm a genius. That's what the mathematician would say. Not your angelic karma. They would want that part known. It would just be obvious. So don't force things to happen when you want them to. Let things unfold when you and the world are ready for them. Be patient. Exactly. And you're sitting in peace. You're sitting in peace. Well, I feel that the mathematician would know the best course of action to take regarding you learning math despite their product that they're selling. And it's not about them using the product or knowing about the product. Maybe because the mathematician is uniquely a genius. The mathematician could know a lot about things and not a lot about um, how the mind works with math. They can, learn, know, they can know without using it or, or knowing about it. They can still tell you. A lot of people want people to say, well... Uh, just like if your angelic karma decided to sell face cream or face products or, or be a representation of advertising that, but your angelic karma doesn't use face cream or face products other than eyeliner and mascara. It, it, some people may say, well, uh, she doesn't use the product. We would prefer somebody that uses it. Well, that doesn't mean that I don't know about products and, and, and maybe people want to look young like me, like that. And that doesn't mean that I can't tell them what to do regarding the product that I am um, representing, like that. So it would be up to the person that gives me the offer to imagine how they would fit that. Because that would be, I would have to leg up. I would have to leg up. I don't need the product. Okay, you know, and don't use any. But that doesn't mean that I can't sell them and tell you what you should and should not use. Okay, you know, is that. Now, said so thank you. To others, as often as you can, say thank you to life, say thank you to yourself. Gratitude allows you to trust life, and trust is the foundation for dreams to come true. Exactly. Trust the process. Everything is as it should be. Even though it might seem that everything is going wrong, live life with an open heart. Don't resist, but thank each experience that guides you on your way. The road might be bumpy, but don't give up and don't lose faith. Okay, you know.
that's what it is there we're gonna could go ahead and lay some of the practical energy here and then we'll move on into part two of the overall energy i'm eager to see the financial forecast for the week so let's go ahead and get this overall energy wrapped up now let's see show me the practical Nine of Pentacles is here. The Six of Pentacles. There's the Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles here. Okay. Two of Wands. There's Strength. And the Four of Wands. Okay, everyone, we're going to go to part two. The link is in the description box for this video per usual. Lay the rest of the spread and clarify the cards and move on to romance. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.